Hi Virgo, welcome into your weekly love tarot reading with me, Deborah. Thanks for clicking onto the video. How are you guys doing? Um, we're going to be checking out this week. Are you going to be looking at your person's energy and see currently what's going on with them, how they're feeling, how they're vibing, how they feel about you, just what's up in their energy. Then we're going to be checking out yours and see what's going on with you. And then we're going to get the joint connection out as well with the relationships energy as well and see what's going on with you guys Virgo I hope you guys are doing well by the way thank you for clicking onto the video if you've been here before hi guys how are we doing if it's your first time hello my name is Deborah how are you let's check out in your person's energy by the way if you're wondering where I'm from I'm from South Africa if you're wondering many people ask me about what accent is that where you're from South Africa guys hello and all those South Africans out there yo how's it going who run it <laughs> you know Okay, so let's get started. Let's get started. Their energy, guys. Oh, extended reading. Nearly forgot. Extended reading, we're going to look at them. We're going to look at how they were feeling in the past um, towards you or the connection or just how they were feeling whenever. Currently, what their feelings are and also their feelings moving into the future. If you want to check that out, link in the description box below. But I got some cards that I've seen. So we're going there. We are going to what Spirit Guide wants us to take. Let's have a look and see. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There's a contradicting, very interesting energy coming up here. You've got the Judgment card. This is an interesting reading. Wow. Virgo, what's up? Judgment card in the upright position. They feel like something that they're doing is right. Um, they feel like they're heading into the right direction. There's confusion in them though. I'm going to tell you, there is confusion in them. Um, and then you've got the full card coming up here, which is the trust energy. I'm thinking about their confusion. I'm going to see what that is. Um, the Blossom card, there's an, okay, I want to stop. There's an insecurity in them that's got nothing to do with you. It's got to do with them not being sure if they can do what they said they're going to do. What's that now? Okay. Are we going to see? The Blossom card, Judgment Energy. The Fool card, yes. They want to be with you. They feel like being with you is the right thing to do. They feel like you guys are meant to be with each other. Your relationship can be very positive. They're very happy. They're very enthusiastic about moving forward. There is something going on here. Um, there's three major arcanas in the energy. Okay. They got the moon card in the reverse position. It says confront. I don't think that this is involving you for some reason. But it involves you because you're with them. And then they've got this Eight of Swords energy. There's something bothering your person. Um, the Eight of Swords literally says helpless and hopeless. And this is confront energy. They could be confronting aspects about their own selves. About their abilities. About what is going on with them. In their world. There is something that's holding them here. There is something that's causing them to be unable to get move forward in life. There's a restriction here. And this makes them feel insecure. Um, it's almost like they're confronting their own selves. You look at the shadow of the person's falling in the doorway, as you can see. And it's like they're confronting a piece of themselves. This is like shadow work to be feeling here. It's almost like they're going through something where they feel, am I able... It's like you guys, uh, it's like for instance, I mean, I recently picked up, picked up on some of you guys' readings that some of you guys are even planning on getting married or setting down and moving in with each other this year. Um, it's almost like you guys can be having discussions about, okay, so we're going to be doing A, B, and C. We're going to get married. We're going to have a child. We're going to settle down. We're going to buy a house. You know, whatever the things you guys talk about. And it's almost like they are afraid that they will not be able to do that with you. It's almost like they go, okay, we're going to buy a house. And like, maybe I, I, I don't have the finances to do so. Or maybe I'm not going to be able to be a good parent. Or maybe... Um, you know, I'm just, there's an energy of them. I've got to ask a little bit deeper here because this one's very vague. So I want to hear, Spirit Guides, what is causing this helpless and hopeless and that moon card to come up here? Let's have a look. They literally say, they're trying to figure out a way to move forward here. It's got to do with you. It's got to do with you. They're trying to figure out how to do something and they're not sure if they can do it. Look, they want to be with you. Do not doubt at all. Do not doubt at all. They want to be with you. They want to be with you. The sun card comes up here. The love, lovers and the sun card. It's the sun card. It's so interesting because it's contradicting with the moon card. And they, it's almost like 
there's a blockage that they've got here with regards to figuring out how to do something. Um, it can be figuring out what if they live far from you and they can't figure out how to get to be with you wherever you may be. That can be a blockage as well. And it's almost like they, there are times they feel like they can't get it right. They can't solve whatever is causing you guys not to ultimately be with each other in a fully way. It's almost like even the success that you want to achieve with each other in life, they feel like maybe they can't be as successful as you want them to be. Wow. But they want this. They want this more than anything. It's what they want. It's just that I feel they have doubts about their own abilities to achieve it. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Okay, and we're dealing with Virgo here, you know what I'm saying? Virgo, Virgo overcomes, Virgo overcomes. When there's a blockage, Virgo goes, bring me the sledgehammer. You know what I mean? I'm going to go through that blockage. If you get a blockage, you figure out how to unbreak it. I mean, I know the Virgo energy, and um, they got that bit of doubt separate from you. But let us have a look and see what's up with your energy. Then Maybe we will also be able to see more what's going on in here especially with regards to even the joint energy of the connection look at that you got life experience Woo. king of air and this one down here eight of air you got the same restriction you got the same restriction so what is this i'm going to ask more directly because it's coming up in your energy as well life experience indicates that there's just been a major change in your guys connection I do believe the two of you are with each other. You've got a queen of fire down here. You've got a king of air energy as well. Very strong energy in your vibes here. Eh? Um, there's something major that has just happened. This is the tower card in the original tar tarot. It doesn't mean that you guys broke up with each other. There has been a shift in this connection. So from the way, it could have been like you guys have got, like I think last week's reading literally was engagement or marriage or moving in together or some kind of commitment. That is the tower card. You guys are now moving into the place where it's not just fun and games anymore. Things are getting real. Um, it says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings so something has happened it's cool something to happen here with the blossom being there they feel like it's the right thing with the fool being there they feel like it's the right thing this is more in your energy very strong um sometimes i pick this up in virgo's readings i pick up that you can uh you're so driven you're so strong we're going to read what that all says there um you're so go get a kind of vibe you know and you can sometimes in a very nice way I say this Virgo, intimidate the people that you're with. You strive to be so the best that you can be. And it kind of like makes your person or your, even people around you feel like they can't match up with you. But the thing is, you just go, of course they can't match up with me, I'm Virgo, duh. You know what I mean? What can we say? You know what I mean? The thing is, um, People, sometimes they see you striving and doing so well, they feel like they need to be on par with you. And you even going, but that's not what I'm expecting even. I'm with them for the way that they are, not for them becoming little mean chemies. You know what I mean? But this is what your person feels. But they 100% want to be with you. Don't worry. It literally says here, yeah, this is all your energies. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Mm-hmm. Um, stretch your wings and fly and this is the second time that this says time to spread your wings this card says time to spread your wings and this one says stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself and you never do assert your independence and creativity yes see the way that you live your world to be honest i feel like you don't even need them this is what came through in last week's reading oh yeah it's like you don't even need them and that's what can make them sometimes be afraid I felt this in love. If you check out last week's reading, it's like totally like this. Then you've got this energy, but you're very independent. You're very strong. You're, very, you're a go-getter kind of energy. This is king of air, male or female, by the way. It doesn't matter which um, energy you are. It's just an energy of the card. Brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic, Virgo, all over the place. Speak your mind with confidence. Mm -hmm. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. Yeah, see, um, I think don't, one of the things when it comes up with King of Air energy sometimes in a relationship is the balance vibe that I always pick up here. Um, King of Air is the person that people always go to for help. It's the person that people, that you, that, you know, if I pick up the phone and I call the Virgo, 
and I'm, I'm in trouble, Virgo is going to tell me what to do. And I'll be like, thank you. I'm out of the trouble now. I know, okay, you're going to go and you're going to do A, B, and C. And then this is, okay, go do it. That's Virgo's energy. And that's what you are. And this is how they're seeing you. Um, there is some kind of little bit of restriction on your energy as well. Um, it says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Um, I don't think this is you at all, not with these two cards being here. I feel like this is how you see them because they've got this card being here in their energy. It literally says afraid to take action, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence. And that is what we were talking about in your person's energy, like that feeling that they can't do something or they're not good enough lack of self-confidence. I feel like this is part of, because um, I was telling you, what is going on with them hasn't really got to do with you. It's got to, got to do with what's in with them. But the thing is, because you guys are in a relationship, it's got everything to do with you. You know what I mean? And there it is in your energy. Um, you sometimes, I think you might get a little bit frustrated with them. It's almost like you feel like shaking them a little bit and going, hey, just do it. Just, I'm telling you what to do. I just go for it. Do this, do this, do this, and do this. And sometimes they might hold back and not take the steps that you want to take. I feel like your energy, with these two energies coming up here, when you say, I'm going to do that, you do it. And there's no, you don't even think about what can go wrong. You don't even think about, um, what if it doesn't work? And you're like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And you just do it anyway. And most of the time, guess what? It works. And I feel like your person does the whole thinking thing. They go, what if this happens? What, how do I handle this? How do I handle that? And your energy is more like you'll handle it when you get there. Stop making that hold you back. Um, you got an amazing energy, Virgo, coming through here. It's so strong. It's so powerful. And um, I think a lot of the things that are happening in their world, you get a little bit frustrated with it because it says in this card, it's in their card, it's the Eight of Swords, right? Different decks. And it says they feel hopeless and helpless. And they feel they're confronting things about themselves, about like, I may not be good enough, blah, 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 all those kinds of things. In your energy, you're seeing it as an illusion of being trapped. You are not hopeless and helpless. You can do whatever you want to do. And this is, I think, sometimes what you can see, they have a lack of self-confidence and they are afraid to take action. And this is the person, you guys have got very different energies. It's very, very different energies. But yeah, you are with them. Yeah, you are with them. So you might be helping them in ways you, you, you must probably be teaching each other lessons moving forward. This is very, very interesting. So let's have a look at the actual relationship. Sometimes when I draw re the actual relationship, I still pick up on the two different people. We'll see how it comes through. Let's see. One, two. I got them all. There you go. We're going to go with what wants to come out this week. Let's have a look and see. Yep. Somebody... <sighs> You've got a lot of energies here. This is your energy without a doubt. Because he has your knight of air. He has your knight of swords energy. That is the king of... Uh, he has your king of air, which is the king of swords anyway. This is you wanting to continue in this relationship. You do love them. You want to be with them. Um, you would love to move forward with them. Okay. Then you've got the second part of it, which comes up as the queen of pentacles energy. I feel this to be in their energy. I feel this to be in their energy. Um, this is them not feeling that confidence. That is the self-confidence that is lacking. Because that's what Queen of Pentacles is. A lack of self-confidence moving forward. Um, your person has got these two energies as well with them. There are specific things that continuously keep holding them back. Um, with the Five of Cups energy, it indicates that they could have suffered something in their past, they could have had heartbreak or some kind of psychological issue that happened or feeling, even a feeling of, uh, when I'm holding this, I even feel like sometimes a person might get into a little bit of depression or down energy. Um, then they have this energy which comes up which is the death card. The death card in the reverse position. I feel like your energy is only here once. So it shows me what a lot that is happening in the connection is associated with them right now in the current energy there's a lot going on with them it'll be interesting to see in the extended exactly what's happening in their feelings but with this death card coming up here this can be a bit of a problem it can indicate 
um, out of control energy. It can indicate they don't know how to get a grip on something. So some of them, it can even indicate um, addictions of some sort. Like it's a chaotic feeling, like I can't control the specific part of my life. And um, this is also an energy, if it's not something like addiction, that causes them, it causes them pain, this. Um, it's almost like they feel, and this is what, it's like they just don't know how to handle it without the King of Queen of Pentacles in the reverse position. It's almost as if they feel... Um, they can't get a control of life. It's the out of control of life as well. So this is very interesting. I think right now, the major, there is no problem between you and them. The problem is um, what is going on with them. And you're a part of it. You're a part of it. You want to continue with this. Just know this is the inner, almost like an inner battle that goes on with inside of them. So my goodness. We're dealing with, sorry guys, I got a bit of a hiccup. It's almost like we're dealing with two very opposite personalities. It's like your personality, yo, the confidence, the intelligence, the brilliance, the professional, diplomatic, boom, everything. And them got the needing to confront shadow elements of themselves, helpless and hopeless, being insecure, being feeling out of control of life, and then the sadness that arises from them not being able to get something right. Um, they're going to have to do it. <laughs> they're gonna have to do it we all go through stages in our world maybe we will have it one day as well where it's that energy all of us we hit shut doors again and again and again and again and again and we literally feel like we can just give up we literally feel like we can just give up but you know what a human being does most human beings they don't give up and they keep going and they keep doing the right thing anyway. And I feel this in your person's energy. Um, even though currently right now they're feeling very despondent. I feel your example makes them want to do better. So it's a nice balance because you guys are so very opposite. And I think you will be able to help them moving forward to be honest. But I want to get a card of advice for you guys here from Spirit Guides. They keep the communication. Communicate. Keep it going in this new way because it's a new way you guys are moving into. Ace of Wands literally talks about communication. Keep it going. Keep the communication going. Listen when they talk and then really listen, Virgo. Really listen and then you will give your advice to them. I think you've got a very wise energy to honestly tell you the truth and you will be able to help them a lot on their journey moving forward. There we go, Virgo. Thank you so much for coming into this reading. If you want to check out Extended, link in the description box below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you next week, Tuesday, when the readings come out again. Enjoy the rest of your week and be that leader that shows them the way. Um, do it in a graceful way, because it even says they're graceful. Do it in a very diplomatic, very graceful, very kind and gentle way. And I think you will definitely be able to help them moving forward. Bye, guys.